I'm going to show you how you can manage aphids in your garden that are attacking your plants. The best part is, it probably won't cost you a penny. A single female aphid can produce thousands of offspring without ever needing a man. Kind of like a little aphid Brockovich. <laughs> Watch out Hollywood, there's a story for you there. The good news is aphids are super easy to deal with. I'm going to show you in this video several ways on how you can take care of aphids in your garden. And at the end of the video, I'll share you with you some preventative measures you can take to keep aphids at bay. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Alex and I make horticultural, gardening, self-sufficiency related videos. If you like what you see, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. We're making our way to 100,000 subscribers and your help would be really appreciated. So aphids are attracted to young, juicy, tender plant parts. They're a sap-sucking insect that secrete a honeydew from their behinds, which is often collected by ants. In fact, ants can be part of the problem as they help to distribute and spread aphids to desirable plants, almost as if you could say that they shepherd or herd them as they collect that honeydew secretion. It's an amazing symbiotic relationship that they have, some species of ants with aphids, but it's also a huge pain in the neck because ants are hard workers and sometimes we have to work harder than an ant to deal with that problem. But we'll roll back to this later. So the first way we're gonna deal with aphids is, well, you can see the horse pipe in the back. We're just gonna blast them off with a jet of water. No chemicals, it's cheap and free. Aphids are flimsy, delicate creatures. It don't take much to knock them off. It's kind of like pushing over Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> now, if you're wanting to take it maybe to the next level, maybe you're dealing with a more severe outbreak, we can easily take care of that using soapy water. Simply mix up a tablespoon of mild dish soap to a quart, that's about a litre of water. Give it a good stir and spray it directly onto them little critters. That soapy warm water will help to dissolve the waxy layer on the aphid skin and cause them to dehydrate and dry up. So you wanna be doing this either early in the morning or the late evening so that the plant has time to dry and it doesn't get burnt when the sun comes out. I personally prefer to do it early in the morning. That way you remove that waxy protective coating on the aphid skin and then the sun comes up and helps to dry them out. You want to be repeating this about twice a week until your aphid problem has gone. If ants are putting them aphids there, well as long as you keep spraying that plant and killing the aphids, the ants will give up and get bored eventually. You also want to make sure that you are using only a mild dish soap that hasn't got any extra additives and detergents. Otherwise that could really affect and burn your plants. Another easy way to deal with aphids if it's just a small little outbreak in an isolated area is just run your fingers over the aphids and squash them. It's dead easy. You can even pretend you're a giant as you're doing it. Super easy, doesn't cost a penny. Aphids can also be the cause of fungus and mold issues on your plants. And you might have noticed this where aphids are present on your plant, you might have noticed like a blackening of plant stems and leaves, like a kind of a moldy black growth around that area. And that's because the sugary honeydew liquid that aphids secrete causes perfect conditions for mold growth. So it's a really good idea to wash this off with some warm soapy water and a sponge or maybe scrub it off with a little toothbrush. But also this preventative solution I'm going to share with you now will help to keep fungus at bay and also them pesky aphids. So we're talking about neem oil. Neem oil is a brilliant natural insecticide that works against biting and sap sucking insects. It also has many antifungal properties and can be used as a light fungicide also. Neem oil will easily deal with your current aphid problem, but a regular scheduled preventative spray will help to keep aphids coming back and getting a foothold. I have a video out on how you can easily use neem oil and some mixing up tips and tricks. If you want to watch that, I'll just pop up the link for you. 
Now, I'd love to hear what you guys think. What are your favorite methods for dealing with aphids and like in your garden? Have you had any success using predatory insects to biologically control aphids and other pests in your garden? Then let us know in the comments. The community and I would love to know. So if you want to know four more ways on how you can naturally deal with pests in your garden without touching nasty pesticides, well, click on the video that's just about to pop up now. Guys, thanks for all your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. And don't forget to hit that like button also to tell YouTube that you dig this content. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.